welcome from around the world. This is Weekly Insights with me, Dorothy Atima. Would you like to know how to beat depression without medication? Stay tuned. Do you like my content? Please subscribe to my channel. Studies show the following five tools can help you get out of depression without medication, and better still, it can keep you out of depression. The first tool is get into a routine. When you wake up in the morning, do get into a routine that tells your brain you're woken up, you're starting the day, and uh, some people, it's either you wake up, go get, sit on the breakfast table, have breakfast, then have a shower. Some people, it's first make the bed, then you first finish the first task. The brain knows you have finished the first task, waiting for the next task. Whatever your routine is, get into a routine. Don't just let your days go like that. You don't know when the day starts. You don't know what time it is. That is recipe for disaster. If you're in depression, that's not going to help you either. If you're not yet in depression and you're just feeling down, that's just before disaster. Start your day. Whatever your routine is, get a simple, nice routine that your brain is used to. Secondly, set little achievable, daily achievable goals. Set a goal to do something in the day. Is it to have a short walk outside? Is it to go out shopping? Is it to go out and cook a meal? Set little achievable goals on those things that are looking like so difficult to do. Don't do those ones. Don't set the ones that are so difficult to do. Just look for something that is simple, that makes you feel you have achieved something. You set a goal and you do it, you feel nice, and then tomorrow you achieve, you, you set another goal. And in the beginning, it might not even feel like changing because your brain is still stuck on the, on the, on the, on the, on the set of depression. But as you continue to achieve little goals, you start feeling nice about yourself. You start feeling you're getting better and, and you get out of the woods slowly by slowly like that. The third thing is eat healthy and exercise. When I say eat healthy, you know what is healthy for you in your house. Don't go eat and you know what is unhealthy. Run away from snacking sweets and, and that kind of thing. Just eat healthy. Eat enough, eat healthy. It might even just the energy of getting out to make yourself a healthy meal. That is also another small goal that you can set for yourself. And you have to force yourself to eat healthy because you want to get out of depression or you don't want to get into depression and you exercise. And there's so many types of exercises. Nowadays, you can even have YouTube walking exercises of 20 minutes, 45 minutes in the house if you don't want to go out. You can go out and walk in the woods and the nature. You can go to the gym and just set goals to exercise. Three times a week is enough. You know, set goals to exercise. As you exercise, your body gets back into rhythm. You produce 
uh, chemicals that, that help your brain to get back to normal. If you're not yet in depression, very difficult to get depressed when you, when you have these kind of routines. So I would say make this your lifestyle. And fourthly, make sure you get enough sleep. There's so many ways nowadays of, of, of knowing whether you have slept enough. Set a goal. How much is enough sleep for you? Is it eight hours, seven hours, six hours? Nowadays we have smart watches, cheap ones, expensive ones you can afford. Just wear a smart watch. And what I like about smart watches is that it keeps track of how, how, how your sleep is. If you wait every time you're going to sleep. So in a week, you can check how was my sleeping pattern. Because sometimes we get into a habit of not sleeping enough and we have no idea. We have no record of it. So especially if you're in depression, that's something that you can track. Sometimes when you're in depression, you sleep too much. Sometimes when you're in depression, you sleep too little. When you can track, then you know what your problem is and how to manage it. And lastly, but not least, challenge negative thoughts. And if you don't know how to challenge negative thoughts, I would recommend that you watch my previous video for last week, which I, I did specifically on how to challenge negative thoughts. This is something so important. And this is something that should actually be in our lifestyle to know how to challenge negative thoughts. Because it, it's very easy, like I said last week in my video, it's very easy for, for negative thoughts to, to just go unnoticed in our minds. That is all for now. Until next week, please subscribe to my channel. Bye for now. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button to show that you liked it. Don't forget to hit on the to click on the subscribe button and hit on the notification button so that you get you you get to be the first to know when we have a new release of the weekly insights